Let's get back out to Cassandra Shepherd. She's live at Harborview Plaza. Tonight she's checking out the See Me Because exhibition. Mm -hmm. And I say, see me because I'm leaning against this piece of installed art. And even the installation process is important and children were involved. I'm back with Hope. Hope, tell me uh, again about why the, I mean, first of all, the display is so beautiful and it, it just makes so much sense. It's kind of raw for this environment, but tell me about the installation process. Absolutely. So this summer, Art Start was really lucky to have six emerging artist interns over the summer. They were paid and part of their responsibilities over the summer was to learn about public art, installation, exhibition and activation. So they actually came out here to the Harbor District in June, learned all about that process. They put together these wonderful panels under the guidance and supervision of our installation designer and director. Yeah. They drilled holes, they, they put all of this together under the guidance of staff and the Harbor District. Um, so all of this that you see here is, is student-led and, and student-facilitated. I love it and it really is a walking display and it is again, I mean with the wonderful lights here, you can come day or night, right? Absolutely, these are solar lights. Um, so even if you come a little bit after dusk, the beautiful images and the stories of our young people will still be on display here at the Harbor District uh, for free. There is no admission fee or charge. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And then also if you aren't able, unfortunately, to get out to see the exhibition in person, you can also um, visit us online at seemebecause.org, and that's our online archive for the Portrait Project, which features all volumes of the Portrait Project. So let's talk about how long this will be available here at the Harbor District. Absolutely. This exhibition at the Harbor District is up until September 25th, so we you know, still have a couple weeks left um, for you to come out and see it. I love it. I can imagine coming down here with the picnic, uh, lunch, and taking the time to walk through and see the beautiful portraits to read the stories and the messages of these young people? Absolutely. On all of these portraits, you'll see not only their full-scale photographic portrait um, that was, again, brought to life through a professional photo shoot, but you'll also see uh, excerpts from their oral histories, their words verbatim um, as evidenced underneath. Um, and then also, if you visit us online, you can see video documentation using that QR code at the bottom um, to really see what their experience throughout the project was life like from start to finish. I'm not quite sure. I have not read Valeria's story, but I'm feeling all of this. I love this. So again, Steve, we talk about the arts. I mean, as an artist myself, I am passionate about art. I believe in the statement from Art Start that art really does save lives. It grows uh, such a sense of self in young people people that nobody can take away. I think it's important. And you really need to get down here and check out this amazing exhibit. Thank you, Hope. Thank you. All right, Steve, back to you. I'm finished preaching. I, I love <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll preach back at you. I love portraits like that because they give other people a window yes. into somebody's world. Yes. But it gives the person in the photo. You never see yourself yeah. the way someone else can see you in a good portrait.